how long is it okay for for ambulance to arrive if one of your kids gets hit by a car just imagine you hear the the brakes squeeching you hear the hit you run out and your little five-year-old kid is out in the street he's conscious he's talking to you but he's scuffed up he's got bruises he's not wearing his helmet like he's supposed to and you call 911 for the ambulance and you think okay there's a station right down the street that should be here any minute so you wait 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 and the little guy is doing okay but you know it's out on the street it's hot it's summertime the asphalt's hot and as the minutes click by you start to think where the hell are they for one thing and also um from what you've seen on TV, maybe, or a relative had, that you can have injuries that aren't clearly visible. So like a little bump on the head could be a developing subdural hematoma, which can be deadly. It's bleeding in the brain. Or they could have broken bones that you can't, I mean, a broken bone isn't always obvious. Or they could have internal bleeding, the spleen, liver they bleed people die i've had more of my share of people die in accidents from internal bleeding so how long are you okay after you call 911? five minutes say a few minutes after that a policeman shows up 10 minutes goes by your kid's starting to get a little bit uncomfortable starting to cry a little bit 15 minutes 20 minutes goes by nothing nothing you call them where the hell are you? Oh, they're having to come from further away. They'll be there any minute. So you wait, wait, wait. So how about 29 minutes and 45 seconds? And that's how long it took for National to respond to a gentleman hit by a car at Classic Ground Covers a while back. And we sent you the info on this and we never got a reply. So. I'm assuming from that that you're okay with someone that's been hit by a car and the ambulance gets there almost 30 minutes later. So if you're okay with this, then I think you guys, well, I hate this expression, but I think you guys need to put on your big boy pants and grow up and do your jobs and start the process of having a county-based EMS housed in the fire department. Like a million communities all over the world do. It's the only way it's gonna make a difference here because these guys are incapable of changing. They're too money driven. They're bought by a private equity, equity firm, not because they're losing money, but because they were earning tons of money. The service you're getting now for your 100K a year is substandard because they're staffing their ambulances with EMTs, basic EMTs and advanced EMTs, not paramedics. Every county that I've worked for or well, except for national, there's always at least one paramedic on the ambulance, oftentimes two. And look, y'all, I know this is a big deal because You've essentially been getting EMS for free since 1969 when St. Mary's got their ambulance license. So for 40 years, from 69 to 2009, you got it for free. And I know it's hard. You know, we've been getting this for free. We want to keep it for free or next to nothing. I know you pay 100K a year, which is kind of not much. So I think you're getting what you pay for. Um, so I think it's time to make steps in that direction. If the guy in charge of the fire department now isn't capable of pulling this off, then find someone who can. If he's not, if he's thinking it's too much trouble, we don't have the room, excuse, 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 find someone who can do it. Because this is the only way in the years to come as Athens becomes more and more populated that the citizens are gonna be protected like they're supposed to be. 
right now you're horribly failing your citizens in allowing this ambulance service to continue. Oh, man, it drives me crazy when I think about it. Now they only have like one paramedic on shift per day for the entire county. And there again, I know that's confusing to y'all, but it makes a big difference if you're dying or if you're seriously injured. Like right now, I'm out walking to my pasture and I'm in Oglethorpe County. And I know that if I keel over from a heart attack or something, and if I get need help, then if I call 911, I know I'll get a paramedic in Oglethorpe County and Madison County. <sighs> Do the right thing, y'all. Thanks.